Many of you want to be able to do mail mergers that go out in an email. So you can personalise your emails and it sends them out one by one and it says dear so and so and it looks very nice. So the thing that I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is open up my document. I've created a newsletter already so I'm just going to go into file, open, I'm going to choose my newsletter here and click on open. So I've opened up my document ready to go. The next thing I need to do is go into tools letters and mailings and mail merge. I could at some point, I could have actually just typed out this. I don't have to open up an existing one, but I prefer to do it like that. And it's quicker and it saves you time whilst you're doing the mail merge. So I'm just going to move across here to the right hand side and you'll see I get my options here. I'm going to choose my email messages. That's what I want because this is an email message, although I'm starting it out in Word. You do need Outlook to make this work. I'm now going to click on Starting Document down here. Oh, let's jump back to letters. Let me just choose that again. I'm just going to click on Starting Document. And I can use the current document, which is what I do want to do. I could choose one of these two other options, but I never find it works quite right. This is the easier way to do it, where you've actually got the document you want ready to go. This could be blank, and then you could just type everything in. I'm now going to choose Select Recipients, for which I could use an existing list, which could come from Excel, Word and Access. And if you need to know more about that, you can look in my tutorial about mail merging with letters. I could choose it from Outlook because you may already have all your email addresses in Outlook, so you could do it from there. I'm not going to worry about typing a new list because these two are the two that I recommend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to click on My Documents, and here it is, Contacts.xls. That's my Excel document, and it's got my information in it that I want, including an email address inside that spreadsheet. I'm just going to click on Open, click on OK, and OK again. You would have just very quickly seen that I've got my contacts in there. I'm now going to write my email message, and I just need to do that by clicking here in Write Your Email Message. And when I do that, it now comes up with my list here of items that I can add. I'm just going to move across. So across here, it still looks like a Word document. It's in here that I want to put in their first name. So I'm just going to move back across again. And I'm going to choose More Items. And when I do, I get my Insert Merge Field box up here. It's going to move that across here. I'm just going to choose First Name and Insert. Now, if I had any other fields that were relevant in here, I could actually put them in. So like if you're doing, as I've said before, an interview and you needed them to come on a particular date or they had an appointment and that was in the database, you could include that in here too. And you could have had something in here that said your next appointment is on and then it appears. So I'm just going to close that. And you can see it's got the field in here and it's, and it's indicated by having the chevrons on either side here. So I'm just going to move back across and once that's done I can preview my email message. So I click here and you'll see that across here it says Dear Marvin and as I skip through each one you see each person that I'm emailing to and if they had any other relevant information that would be changing as well. So I'm just going to move back across. Don't forget I could choose to edit my recipient list so I could apply a filter here. So I could say that it's the email list that I'm doing and click on OK. So don't forget that filtering, it does really help. Now I'm going to hit complete the merge. So I'm going to do that and you'll see it comes up here with electronic mail. When I did this before, it came up with print or edit individual mail. That was if I was doing it by creating a letter, but I'm not this time. So I'm going to hit electronic mail it comes up with this merge to email and it says to and you'll see it's picked up here that's so picked up the email field you'll see all the other fields are here but it's picked up the email field I can put in the subject line just I would do on a normal email so I could say this week's podcast in there and the mail format I could choose it in HTML which would keep all of the formatting that I've got or plain text or it could even go out as an attachment. Which records do I want to send? Well I'm going to do all of them. You just need to be aware on an email that sometimes you can't send more 
than say a thousand in a day or a hundred in a day and you might need to find that out from your provider or from your IT or IS department. I'm going to choose all because I've only got 10 people in here and I've filtered it down as well so I've probably got about four people that this is going out to now. When I click on OK it will now in the background open up Outlook and it will start sending those emails and it does it one by one so if you've got a lot of them it can take a bit of time. You can in fact open Outlook and you'll be able to see them in your Outbox. That is how you do a mail merge, sending them out as an email.